Dear Nancy Loves, long time no see. If you check out my youtube.com slash Ali's Fun Life channel, you'll find a vlog video that I did kind of explaining what's going on in my life and why I haven't made a video for the past month. But here I am, and today's video is just going to be a few things that have really enhanced my life as a dancer, whether it be inspirational or actually useful, I guess you could say. Some of these things might be really obvious, and other things you may have not thought of before. So hopefully this will give you a few ideas. So the first thing I want to talk about is broadening your class perspective by getting some DVD classes from various masters of the trade from around the world, or the US at least. Um, I have two at the moment. One is ballet class with Kathy Thibodeau? 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 I don't know, you guys. Anyway, this lady's really cool. She's um, in 50-somethings right now, and she's still dancing, still doing point work. I don't know, she might even be in her 60s by now. But she is one of the principal dancers of a ballet company she founded, Ballet Magnificant. This video is just basically an entire ballet class from floor work to bar work. It's just a really fun way to help broaden your perspective, learning from different teachers, as well as learning new combinations that your teacher probably hasn't taught you yet because I've noticed some teachers just really like to stick to their own combinations. Another one I have here is The Ballet Workout and this one's featuring Melissa Lowe. This one's pretty old school and really cheesy but it's pretty awesome at the same time. I've heard in some of her other videos they all wear like unitards, bright pink and blue neon unitards. It's pretty awesome. This one is directed more towards like a beginning workout so not so much focusing on actual ballet technicalities, but getting a good workout from ballet stuff. But it's still it's still very ballet. And I will have links to where you can buy all the stuff I'll be talking to, about in the description. No, I'm not getting paid for this. I just want you guys to know. Also, buy some ballet performances on DVD or any dance performances. They're so inspiring, wonderful to watch. You can pop them in any time whether you've got Wi-Fi or not. This is Ballet Magnificent's Ruth. You can guess it's based off of Ruth's story from the Bible. Kind of a more modern twist on it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So I definitely highly recommend it if you want to get this. But of course, go out and purchase, you know, the Nutcracker, the Firebird, Sleeping Beauty. I mean, whatever you want. Just buy ballet performances and watch them. And you will always learn. You'll always learn from watching them. Even if you don't really realize it. It's, in, it's all in your heart. Another thing that is really useful to own when you're a ballet dancer is a ballet dictionary. Now, I have one and fortunately it's already been packed and moved to my school city, so I can't show it to you. I'm really bummed, but there'll be a link in the description to a page where you can actually look at it. It's basically a list of every ballet term that exists, telling you what it is, kind of how to do it, and there's also illustrations in it. It's very, very helpful. Super fun if you just have some time to just sit down and kind of leaf through it. You'll discover things you didn't know. Oh, also explains differences between the Italian, French, and Russian methods, which can actually be quite different sometimes. So it's good to kind of understand the differences between certain moves. Next up, now this might be one of those obvious things, but owning a pair of both leather and canvas split sole ballet flats. Now the reason why is because they function in two very different ways. Depending on where you're dancing, either shoe could provide you a much better surface to be dancing upon. Also, you never know when you might be required to have one or the other. I have found that I enjoy wearing my canvas shoes more, as you can tell. But I love, 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 love having both of them on hand just for days like some days at my old studio, the floor would just be extra slippery for just no reason. So I would just throw on my leather flats, which are a tad more grippy than my other ones, and I'd be good to go. If you only have one of these, definitely consider going out and getting fitted for a pair of the other. Now this is the third time I've talked about these on my dance channel, but these tights, okay, these are freaking amazing. I'm gonna see if I can find someone that sells them and put a link in the description for you guys. But these convertible toe back seam tights are the most comfortable, breathable, awesome tights in the world. The reason why is because they're mostly cotton. 
Now, sometimes it can make it a little tricky to get them on because they're not as stretchy, but they're still definitely very stretchy, but they're a little more stiff, I guess you could say, just because they're cottony. I just really like these. So, check them out. And then the last thing I want to talk to you guys about, again, I don't have with me because it has already been moved to my school city, is keeping a dance journal or dance notebook for things that inspire you, things that you need to work on, ideas that come to your mind for combinations or choreography. You can use it for anything that is, that is dance related. Like in mine, I have things from my teacher that has told me that I need to work on. I also have some full out stage plots of some dances that I want to choreograph and perform someday. I also have lots of magazine clippings. I have a whole bunch of old point magazines that have the most beautiful pictures in them, so I like to cut those out and paste them in, just lay them out in a nice sort of collage way. It's just a really fun way to keep all your ideas and inspiration kind of collaborated in one space. Hopefully, in the future, in another video, I'll be able to find that and actually show it to you guys. But like I said, right now I'm in the process of moving, so I don't have it with me. Ah! Anyway, I hope that gave you guys some interesting ideas. Don't forget to check out the description for links to productos for you. I will see you all again soon. Bye!